the death and birth of stars, galaxies colliding, and clouds on a distant world. All in a week's work for the world's newest and most powerful space telescope. They were better than I had imagined they would be. Light invisible to the human eye, travelling for billions of years, seen for the first time. It's going to change things across most of the spectrum of astronomy. Today we saw a kind of highlights reel of what the James Webb Space Telescope will explore for decades to come. This is a cluster of galaxies made of the oldest light ever seen in the universe from near the very beginning of time itself. These five galaxies are much closer, only 300 million light years away, and we can see these two emerging in a kind of violent, swirling storm. We also saw a planetary nebula, the final breaths of a dying star, exhaling dust and gas in successive waves. And perhaps most spectacularly, the cosmic cliffs of this birthplace of stars, the Carina Nebula, which sits within our own galaxy. And parts of this image are stumping scientists. We see examples of structures that, honestly, we don't even know what they are. Like, what's going on here? The six and a half metre wide telescope promises to launch a new era for astronomy. It opens new doors to the early universe, but also helps us to understand planets and where we came from. We humans really are connected to the universe. We're made of the same stuff in this beautiful landscape. The latest technology bringing to life Carl Sagan's famous musing from more than 40 years ago. We're made of star stuff. We are a way of the cosmos to know itself. Michael Slezak, ABC News.